this is the fairy tale hairdresser or how Rapunzel got her prince by Abby Longstaff. Kitty Lacey was the best hairdresser in all the land. People came from far, far away to have their hair washed and combed and cut and styled. It was Kitty who brushed the fairy godmother's long locks till they sparkled and glittered. She was the one who found exactly the shade of crimson to match Red Riding Hood's cloak perfectly and if anyone ever needed a beard and sideburns trim they knew just the place to go sometimes kitty had very difficult cases to deal with there were tall customers and tiny customers and some very fussy ones too curly too straight too high too low just right. She was often called out to visit reclusive clients in unusual places. Indeed, Kitty was such a good hairdresser that she was sure there was no hair she couldn't fix. Then one Saturday, she got her most difficult case of all. Up in a high High Tower was a witch with a very big problem. Kitty gulped nervously and rang the bell. The door creaked open and a golden river of hair flooded out. All this hair is taking over my tower, screeched the witch. I can't, I can't see a thing. It's affecting my work. I can't make any evil potions and I'm sure I've lost my glasses somewhere. Kitty had never seen so much hair. It was t all tangled and messy and frizzy and some of the knots were the size of her fist. Was there even a person underneath all that? Kitty took a deep breath and picked up her comb. Bit by bit, she parted the hair until, at the centre of, at the centre, she found a girl. I'm Rapunzel, said the girl. Thank goodness you came. I'm having a really bad hair day. Kitty smiled. Don't worry, love. We'll have you looking gorgeous in no time. Kitty gathered the hair from all over the tower into a neat pile. She sprayed every inch with conditioner. Then she combed through the knots and trimmed the ends. Ah, that's much better, cackled the witch. Now I can get on with my evil spells. I need to make a poisonous, a poison apple, a gingerbread house and a spindle. But first, first, I have to find a potion to make Kitty forget she was ever here. After a whole day of hard work, Rapunzel's hair shimmered. It rippled down her back across the tower floor and curled into a beautiful pile in the corner. Rapunzel loved her new hair. It's so soft, she said. But, oh Kitty, the witch, the witch will never let you leave. Don't worry, said Kitty. I have a plan. Kitty took three heavy bundles of hair and began to plait. Then she winked at Rapunzel and threw the long plait out of the window. Meanwhile, in the valley below, a handsome prince was riding by when he saw something very unusual lying on the grass. The prince followed the plait all the way up to the tower. And to his amazement, there he saw a beautiful girl leaning out of the highest window. She had the longest, softest, silkiest hair he had ever seen. Hello, said Kitty, climbing down the plat. I'm Kitty. And that is my friend Rapunzel. 
Oh, Rapunzel, screamed the prince, gazing up at the window. Oh, said Rapunzel, he really is a very handsome prince. Just then, there was a terrible screech. Help, cried Rapunzel. The witch is coming. Jump, my love, shouted the prince, and he held out his arms. Rapunzel jumped and fell all the way down, 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 down into the arms of her prince. The next day, the witch had a very different sort of visitor and she soon found it was her turn to be locked away. Of course, Rapunzel and the prince were married. It was the wedding event of the year. Everyone was there. And guess who was invited to do the bride's hair? Kitty Lacey, the best hairdresser in the land.